for we are to God the fragrance of Christ. Second Corinthians two verse fifteen. My channel. My name is Tokwe, and this is Talk Notes by Tokwe. If this is the first time you see my face, welcome, guys. And um, on this our channel, we have fragrance related content like fragrance reviews, tips, hauls, all things fragrance in general. So if you like that, click the subscribe button. I'll be later that you do that, and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be notified every time that i upload a new video for my returning subscribers returning viewers gang gang how are you i'm so excited to see you here on watching another video on the channel how are you doing i trust you're all doing well and you're also keeping safe today is another tag video yes your girl is on a roll for tag videos so this one is called my fragrance addiction like you get and i mean i'm happy to be part of this this tag was first done by my dear friend here on the in the youtube community called amy and her channel is amy's fragrance world i'm going to tag it but i first saw it on another friend paula's paula bianca's channel and so and then i went on to watch amy's own i think that my sister abby would love from abby has it but i haven't watched hers i'm going to watch hers after i record this video so yes let's so if you're interested in knowing all about my fragrance addiction without much ado let's get into the video welcome back guys so this tag has 12 questions and i'm going to call like i'm going to say the questions and then i give my answer to it so the first question says why do you use fragrance as why do you use fragrance that is is it fragrance as a mood booster habit compliment or any other reason so um i think that at this point fragrance has become part and parcel of my life and um i think initially i used fragrance as a i was learning about fragrances like i my mom growing up my mom had lots and lots of fragrances um so i i started playing with her fragrances stealing them in court you know and so that's that was how i got into fragrance i i think i probably would say that it's more of i just found it as something a habit of what people do and then that's how my initial contact with fragrance was and then when i got into like secondary school high school thereabout, i started buying very inexpensive body mist using them and then when um i went to school in france that was when i think i bought my first designer fragrances because i had a year abroad i studied french so whilst i was in Caen, i used to go into douglas and sephora to buy fragrances and so that was it so by the time i was leaving france to nigeria to ghana i wasn't in nigeria then i was in ghana i had about nine bottles of designer fragrances and i felt really good about myself i think what so that's how i really got into fragrance so i would i would say it's more of habit that i just saw was what my mom was doing and then i also started doing it it wasn't but now i would say that yeah it's, it's part and parcel of me now it, it's it does everything boost my mood does it's just everything in one for me how much and where do you apply perfumes okay so we're going to do how i apply my fragrance so i i i think that i apply in excess of maybe 20 sprays i am a certified over sprayer i i can't even lie about that i am an over sprayer i always over spray my fragrance so after i go into the shower and i take my bath i come out i dry my skin i put oils I, and so when i put the oils on my skin i use oils basically to moisturize and then i will now first go over my skin like this and then you know imagine that i'm not wearing clothes so i mean don't imagine that but just saying that i'm not wearing clothes so just everywhere goes like that and then when i dress up wear my clothes then i will do this and then this 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 there there depending on what i'm wearing if i'm wearing a skirt i would aim for the band and then that is it then this is when i'm leaving but just as i get if i don't have the fragrance in my bag which i always do so then i go i drive and i get to it when i'm leaving my car i'll just do a one just to 
refresh up on the top notes and other things and so this is how i spray perfume i know it's it's a lot it's a lot and this this i have to say it doesn't matter if it's a niche is a designer is it's an inexpensive that's how i spray how many perfumes do you use per day so it depends i work five days in the office and two days from home the days that i'm working from the office i would definitely use one for the whole day till i close i work a nine to five shift so when i come back home that's about 7 p.m i'll take my shower again and then use my night scent i may also if i could use just any night scent or if it's a point where i'm trying another scent i may use there are some days i use one because sometimes if i'm testing out a scent for that day i usually use my work day to test out scents since i'm doing a lot more during then so i would now put it on for the night because i also like to know how certain fragrance work at night so that i can take notes on that too so some days i use one on the days when i'm working from home i get ready i, I take my bath drop the children from school i would use one scent and then when i take my bath again in the early late afternoons at about three four to go pick them up from school i would use another one that i'll use till about seven or eight take my bath and use my night scent so there are days when i'm average days i use it, it runs between one to three depending on what I'm doing that is if I'm testing out a scent or I am just home so anywhere between one to three per day do you enjoy other perfume products yes I do so um, like um, this is my hand cream I have this hand cream that is, is one or it's, it's um it has orange scented ones it's that one i really enjoy it this particular one i'm obsessed with it and then i also like um scented candles so this is a scented candle that i got as a gift it has um mistletoe it has citrus burst and it has berry christmas it was a christmas gift that i got so i haven't started burning them yet so th those are the two but like um scented um creams and other things like that no i am um, i use oils and they're usually natural so i use natural almond oil or papaya oil so those are the two oils that i use so i don't those ones are not scented except with their natural scents that they come with so apart from these two my hand cream that is scented i don't have any kind of um scented lotions or scented anything perfume dish things so what is your what fragrance in your collection best represents your current taste and aesthetic? So, honestly, um, my fragrance taste is not singular. I have um, more of a, like, a mishmash of taste. I have three variant of, like, blocks of fragrance smell patterns or taste that I have. So, the first one that I would say best represents my taste is... Um, V Cantos Mandragola. This is oud, indolic, very aggressive, seeped in. There's some jasmine here, but the jasmine here is indolic, very powerful, aggressive oud. This is not one for everybody. This one is a scent profile that I like. It's a taste. If you know me, I'm a deep lover of oud. So this represents the kind of oud that I like. Strong, aggressive, and malic. This is it. Also, this bottle represents my aesthetic bold and minimalistic opulent minimalistic so it has the velvet and then it has gold accents the cover very heavy this is it's the aesthetic my aesthetic is always minimalistic yet opulent another fragrance that f goes into another kind of taste that i like is um this Nisha Ney Fan Your Flames. So this is coconut. I love coconut. Anything that has coconut in it, I love it. But yet it has rum, it has tobacco. I love rum and tobacco. My love for tobacco and rum in a fragrance came from having Fan Your Flames. So I love rum. I love the booziness that it has and I love the tobacco. And again, this represents that minimalistic yet opulent aesthetic that i i love in fragrances and last but not the least i have um amouage um, bracken woman this is vetiver and floral done perfect this is what i like and again this too represents that aesthetic that i like opulent yet minimalistic so it has this just jewel at the top and then the bottle looks just beautiful like this so i think that my aesthetic would be minimalistic yet opulent but these three vetiver 
mixed with some florals as a profile that I like. And then there's the oud, animalistic, opulent, and dolic, aggressive. I like that one too. Then I like the coconut, rum, tobacco kind of thing going on. So if, my perfect fragrance would be a mix of these three profiles that I've talked about. But I'm yet to find a perfume that does all three. It says fragrances that you love but you don't wear and why. So, I mean, I would never keep a fragrance that I don't like. I would never, if, if I have any fragrance that... I am I have in my collection I still keep in my collection is because I like it I just think that it is just the acquisition the the speed of acquisition of more fragrances that make me forget fragrance but till this point I don't have any fragrance that I like um that I don't like uh, that I love that I'm not wearing I try to wear most of my fragrances I do my best to wear most of my fragrances i'm always i have a, a storage box where the ones that i'm not currently wearing are but every now and then we turn it and let what is at the bottom come to the top so that it is easy to you know find the ones that i haven't touched but everything i own i do use but just that i'm not wearing them often as i should how do you divide your fragrances to masculine feminine seasons based on any other category so the categories that I put my fragrance in is just um, reference scents and then the fragrance. So reference scents, I mean, there's some scents that in, like a lot of people make reference to. So the La Vie Belle, Coco Mademoiselles, the um, Black Opiums, the say, um, Black Orchid. Like if anybody wants to talk about a deep dark fragrance, they will like black orchid so those ones i kind of have them for reference i may not necessarily like them but if i don't have a reference scent if people make reference to it i may not know and there's some scents that are generally the scents that in the fragrance what people would refer to if they're trying to make similarities they you know they mention them so they're kind of, and most of the time they're especially designer scents so i have them in my head as okay this is a reference this is the kind of scent that people usually would talk about it and so it smells kind of like la via bell it smells kind of like black opium it smells like this it smells like that so because of that that's how in mind but it's not like i have i have um actively divided my fragrance into it but that's how i kind of categorize my fragrances in my head if it makes sense um how do you typically purchase fragrances? Sampling based on reviews, blind buying, trying sample in store. So prior to Rona, I used to go in store to try out scents. I would watch a video and then somebody would talk about a scent and then I would try them out. So um, the, but the, the reason why I, I, I used to do that was because over the course of my fragrance buying journey, before I started my channel, I realized that when people talked about fragrances, I will quickly go buy them blind and then they didn't do what I expected them to do or what I thought they were going to do so after a while I decided that you know what I was going to just if I would just read notes and then I would buy the fragrances blind because I mean we can't really go into shops now it's very difficult and even in the shops it's they don't let you touch the bottles they want to spritz it's just a whole mess so I'd rather now I do more blind buying and what I have come to do now is that I'm kind of with as I as I go through the fragrance journey I'm beginning to know what my um, fragrance taste is my fragrance so and then also I'm beginning to find my fragrance twins in the fragrance communities there are people that when they talk about fragrance i know that i would like it based on how they, they the, the the way they describe and how detailed they describe fragrances i know that you know what what this person knows their onions and so they they so i can take chances with those and say i watch the review and buy but for now i'm doing more of blind buys and i've been very blessed i haven't had too many fails in my blind buys so that's more blind buys in the past i used to go in store try them out that was when i used to buy based off you know watching youtube videos and stuff but now 
I do, do the blind, I'll just order it blind and then it comes in. Also, my essay is very kind to send me some samples or call me when their new fragrance is in store. Send me pictures and then I go on to Fragrantica or go on to YouTube, check and see what the reviews on them are. But it's not all of them that I do check. There's some that I just buy them and then have my own opinions on them after. Um, what fragrance in your collection was not a love at first sniff and took you some time to love? Oh, I guess um, a fragrance that wasn't love at first sniff, I think it will be this. This is Alien Oud Magisters. So, um, those times when I used to go back into the stores to buy fragrance, my essay mentioned this fragrance, put out the box, and then I smelled like yuck what is this I be, remember that around that time i hadn't had a lot of experience with oud fragrances so i mean i hadn't had experience with oud so it was it was very new to me it was very i was like what the hell is she talking about how in the name of jesus christ is she expecting me to buy this fragrance like what 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 does she think so i didn't buy it and then in august i think november december they were doing this sale of like fragrances that sometimes these fragrances get if you look at this it has the bottle looks a bit beat up so sometimes in the storage it, it gets beat up the boxes get bad and so they, they try to sell them off so she got it for me i didn't even pay and then she was like you know what if you don't like it, you pay me it was very discounted so i took it i came home and then i just started using i was like oh okay so I think this is it. I have come to really love it and I'm even considering getting a backup bottle of it. This is Alien, Mugler's Alien Oud Majesteus. And so that was one that was not a love at first neck for me, but now I love it. How do you handle fails and disappointment? So like I earlier said, I've, I've, I've had very minimal fails. And even at that, before I call it a fail, especially with my experience with this Oud Majesties and other fragrance where I don't it doesn't start off like another one that I thought was a fail in the beginning I think it's even still a fail because I'm kind of sitting on the fence on it is um, Lalique's Amethyst I, initially I didn't like it there was something on it that I didn't really like so I didn't really know what to do but I it's not kind of like I didn't like and but I'm not I'm not still reaching out for it a lot so what I really do is I, I give it like about a month or two months and then I would give it out and that is either sell it. So my close circle of friends kind of believe me when it comes to fragrance. So a lot of them don't even buy perfumes. They wait for my fails. Um, I remember white tea by Elizabeth Adding. It was um, a friend of mine. She showed me where to get it because I'd be raving asking where I could get it. And then she showed me where to get it because she had one too. And then I, I now got out to buy the um, entire range, which was the white tea, um, the wild rose, um, the vanilla orchid. But when I didn't like the vanilla orchid, so I sold it to her. And now she swears by it. So I have like close circles of friends that will buy for me. And also I've sold about four or five of my fragrances from my Instagram channel to my Instagram page to people I don't know. But I think in the entire journey, I've only had like maybe anywhere between 12 to 15 fails and i currently have about 130 bottles so i mean 12 to 15 fails out of 113 bottles is about maybe one percent or ten percent i think or ten percent so i think it's not bad but i'm looking to minimize the fails so fragrance on your which fragrance on your wish list are you not able to purchase so honestly my wish list is it's like um, I'm going to insect it here and um, the thing about it is that first of all the major issue I have is availability I'm, I'm now craving for a lot of niche and indie fragrances and um, the challenge is that most of them don't deliver to Lagos Nigeria and then for vendors that have it um, I would have to buy a full bottle and it's very 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 dangerous to be buying a full bottle of a niche scent or an indie scent when you're not sure you like it so i think one of my major challenges is availability because i mean i have i have i have settled with myself that if i'm going to be purchasing niche or indie scents what i may have to be doing is purchasing one cent per month because the cost of one in my budget of fragrances would be 
for one in your one each cent and so it's either i do that or i buy a lot more of affordable middle eastern scents or a little more of designer so it's just like what i do with that chunk of money little chunk of money that i set aside monthly to get me fragrances um yeah so it's basically afford um availability and accessibility of these kinds of fragrances that i want in the nigerian market more than anything else and also common sense really i'm trying not to also buy too much so yeah i think there's a bit of common sense that i'm applying to it and then it says what percentage of your collection is niche designer celebrity so um i don't have a lot of celebrity i think i have about two or three celebrity britney spears sarah jessica parker and then um jello but that's like total of three or they can't be more than six bottles in total but what i have is i have quite a number of middle eastern affordable scents so i'll say that i have 60 percent designer i have another 15 to 20 percent um middle eastern and then i have a 15 percent of niche i'm looking to increase my niche to about let's say 20 to 25 percent at the end of the year I want to shrink my designer a little bit so i the middle eastern is the i like those fragrances and also i have them because um they they have some very great scents in them and also most of the people that follow me on instagram would usually like me to um review some of these fragrances especially because most of them are easily accessible in nigeria the price points are good for the pockets of people so they would love to have reviews of it so yes and i also love them i must say so that is the percentages of my fragrances thank you so much amy's world fragrance world for this this um tag i don't think that i've ever been this personal talking about my entire fragrance journey the addiction that i have <laughs> but we have because we are watching this you definitely have an addiction too so yes and um i wasn't tagged but if you want to tag if you want to do this please go on and do but i really want to see my sister with babe and then um ruthie's gifted hands do this i would also love to see a day a day's gift i'm going to link and then also tell her that i've tagged her to see how she goes on it so thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it and got some value from it give us a thumbs up but if you didn't give it a thumbs up but tell me what kind of value you'd want to see in my next video thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in my next video as usual stay safe and stay centered bye bye